Hello, what's up, guys? It's Talis Mosashi, and today I'm gonna show you guys the strongest raw greatsword build in the entire game. <laughs> Let me show you guys this thing here is incredible. Do you see this greatsword right here? That's the Baroth Shredder 3. Actually, that's the strongest raw attack uh, greatsword in the entire game. Let me show you guys its features. We have a total attack of 1032 with 3 augment slots. But with the Elementless Jewel and the uh, Talons and Charms, we get a total attack of 1310, which is the highest possible for a great sword build. Now let me show you guys the other pieces that we're wearing. We have the Wrath Soul Helm Beta. The Dober Mayo Beta. The Kaiser Van Braces Alpha. The Nergigante Coil Beta. The Dober Grievous Beta. And the Critical Charm one. All those together with the right decorations got us to Attack Boost Level 7, Critical Eye Level 4, Critical Boost Level 3, Weakness Exploit Level 3, and No Elemental Boost. Let me show you guys here so you can see actually what all those skills does. Attack boost level 7 grant, grants us a true raw attack of plus 21 and an affinity boost of 5%. We have critical eye level 4 that increases our affinity by 15%. Critical boost level 3 that increases the damage dealt by critical hits by 40%. Weakness exploit level 3 that increases the affinity by 50% when hitting weak spots of the monster. And the non-elemental boost that raises the base attack for non-elemental weapons. Now let me show you guys the decorations that we use in this setup. Here on the Baroth Shredder, we have Elemental Jewel level 2 that raises the base attack for non-elemental weapons. We have Attack Jewel level 1 to make it possible to reach Attack Plus level 7. Expert Jewel level 1 times 4 for Critical Y level 4. Critical Jewel level 2 that increases the Critical Boost skill, so it gets us to Critical Boost level 3. And the Tenderizer Jewel that increases the Weakness Exploits skills so we have weakness exploit level 3. All those together leaves us with a plus 50 affinity, 50% 50 affinity when hitting weak spots of the monster, even though we have minus 20% affinity with this great sword right here. So okay guys, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna show you guys a clip of me using the great sword in the training arena so you can see the great hit that this sword dishes out. So thank you for watching and now check this video. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed. This is the strongest raw greatsword build in the entire game. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give us a like, that helps the channel grow, and stay tuned for more Monster Hunter World videos and builds. So thank you for watching guys, and until the next episode, see you!